All right, guys, we're going to make a little video here about my steel chainsaw. And uh, it's an MS-250 chainsaw. I've had it about 20 years. I've never done a thing to it for maintenance. And over the weekend, we were cutting down Christmas trees. And I was making fun of a buddy of mine who had a Husqvarna. And about two seconds later, my saw crapped out. And... Luckily, it was kind of right when we were done, and about a half hour later, I tried to start it again, and it wouldn't start up. So, anyways, make a long story short, it kind of felt like it had no spark, but I don't know. I sprayed some ether in it. I couldn't get it to do a thing. It wouldn't pop off nothing, and I had to resort to borrowing the old man's home light from the 1970s, which actually worked like a champ. chainsaw this morning and it was working pretty good but it kept stalling out like uh if it wasn't at full throttle it would just it almost sounded like it was starving for fuel so i'm going to take it apart and do some maintenance here clean it mainly but then about a half hour later i tried to start it again i couldn't get it started one bit so i don't know what the deal is i tried spraying ether in there whatever it won't even make any attempt to start so I took the old plug out, and it was pretty black, like oil black. And uh, this saw is, I've had for about 20 years. I've, I've honestly never done one thing for maintenance to it in 20 years, and it's always been a champ, other than just changing chains out. So I went down to AutoZone, and I scored this new NJK, NGK spark plug. It's like a $3 part, so I'm going to put that in and see if it will start. We'll check the gap, make sure it's 20 thousands first. All right, so I got the carburetor off, as Terrell would say, and I took it apart, and sure enough, the diaphragm is all full of sawdust, just like Terrell always talks about. So I'm going to try to clean that out and put it back together and see if maybe we would be back in business or not. This is a Zama carb. I don't have any Zama parts. I only have Walbro kits laying around. So let's just see if I can clean that out and put it together and see what happens. Housing off of the saw here. It was totally jammed full of sawdust and everything. You couldn't even see the coil. This whole area was just buried in the dust. So I blew out everything with the air compressor here. And I was getting a a bad spark reading on my spark tester it was like nothing maybe because it was coated with this junk so let me clean out the rest of this side of the case and put it back together and let's see what happens all right so i got my amazon dow dowlum coil that came i ordered it yesterday on saturday it arrived today sunday amazon prime prime for twelve dollars and 95 cents so it seems like a pretty smoking deal to me so i'm going to take out this old coil here and uh see if we can swap it and hopefully that's our problem so it looks like i gotta get the spark plug wire out of this little section here and just two bolts and that's it it shouldn't really be a big deal let's see if we can do it got a new development i looked at the gap here between the coil and the flywheel and it's like almost nothing so i looked at the uh looked up on google what it should be and it says it should be like eight thousandths and what i did is i took my feeler gauges out here this is a two thousandths I can't even get a two thousandths in, in my existing one. So I think before I hook up this dow dowum here, I'm gonna make it eight thousandths and see if it will run like that. 
and uh, maybe this coil is fine, but maybe somehow it got out of adjustment. I don't know how it would get out of adjustment, but I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's a mark on the flywheel that looks like something was rubbing on it. So maybe something made the coil move and it rubbed the flywheel and that's why I got no spark. I'm just not sure, but open it up and see what happens. It was just a stupid coil gap. I gapped it to eight and it started in the first pull. Here we go. 